<laughs> you angry? <laughs> Are you an angry Enderman? Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Mighty High's World. This is episode 92, and today we are starting off with Sweet Fanny Adams. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have absolutely nothing. And you might be thinking, well, I have some armor over there, which I could use, and that I have some spare elytra, but I don't. I kind of lost everything I had, including all my elytra and everything. Uh, because I died quite a few times building the perimeter for our witch hut. Um, so why don't I uh, go over there and show you what I've been up to. I wasn't going to, but since I've got nothing to start this episode with, I might as well. Alright oh, ladies and gentlemen, so we have now reached our uh, swamp where the witch hut is over there. And you can just about see to your left what I've been up to. And yeah, this is what's killed me all this time and it's basically all this lava that's around believe it or not i am very surprised at how much lava there is around here so i'm probably going to have to uh spend a few hours getting rid of all this the best way to do this though is uh, gravity blocks like uh sand and stuff like that instead of getting rid of all the obsidian so i'm probably going to do it that way instead to be fair because uh, some of this will turn into um cobblestone otherwise but I am amazed at how much lava is down here like this is the reason why I've died because I kept like die once I my light to um, ran out of juice so I fell to the ground and uh, my items fell in lava then the other times I've basically just been trying to clear out this area seeing being too curious and seeing if there's any diamonds or anything that I want to grab on the bottom like for example there's some lapis over there which I've been like trying to grab as and when I can um so yeah and also we all see, we all know what happened the first time when I tried this I uh, blew myself up um but this project is coming along pretty good this is about 46 blocks across at the moment and you can see how many slime flying machines I've had to build I think some of them have stuck yeah this one's stuck up there and I think no, these two aren't. Okay, cool. So yeah, as you can see, I get problems like that where they just stick like that as well for some random reason. Um, these pistons are powered apparently. So yeah, that's... Uh, I'm running into a few problems in this project. And believe you me, the amount of times I've rage quit um, doing this is ridiculous. But I'm going to plod on with it. We've still got quite a lot to do, but... You might also notice all the water's gone as well and uh, I've done a time lapse of that but I'm not going to release it until everything's done. Um, I, I'm time lapsing, yeah, I'm time lapsing some of this as well so hopefully that'll be interesting to look at. Um, but yeah, so this is the reason why I've got nothing at the moment. Um, so I'm really not sure what to do today's episode in all fairness. Maybe we can go back to our base and see what needs doing. Um, because I'm going to leave this place for now so let's head back to our base and see what we can do there so we're back at our base now in our storage system and I think the first thing I should probably do is uh, find myself some armor or make some in that fact yeah I'll just make some iron armor for now I'm not gonna bother with diamond armor or anything like that cuz uh, yeah I'm just gonna end up losing it knowing me so let's just make a full set of iron armor because I've got the iron to spare so I'm not too worried about that so there's our chest plate leggings boots and helmet and I've still got quite a bit of armor iron left after that I thought that would take most of it but no so I think we need a weapon as well but this time I will use some diamonds for that um, how many diamonds do I have I have a stack and 48 and I oh there's 23 there so two stacks and four um, I think I have a load more ore somewhere as well right so I have 56 diamond ore there um, and I do know I have about 20 odd blocks of diamond ore back at where the swamp is because that's another reason why um, I keep having a look down there to try and find diamonds for some reason I still get really curious on what's down there even though I know it's dangerous and most likely going to kill me 
Um, I just do it anyway because I like the. <laughs> <coughs> because I like the thrill, but yeah, I really shouldn't do that from now on. But yeah, um, so yeah, we've got um two stacks and four diamonds. So I think it, we could actually make ourselves either an axe or a sword. But I think I'm going to uh use an axe because apparently they're somewhat better than a sword but because they do more damage uh, so let's make ourselves some sticks and an axe and let's have a go and see what this does so we've got ourselves an axe cool so our weapons sorted and we've still got a bit of food left I've been cooking some food up over there although the furnace has stopped now so there's another nine pieces and I keep forgetting this mechanic on Minecraft, but with these campfires, you can actually cook food on them too. Uh, so that's another cheap, easy way. And also it costs no fuel, apart from the coal you use to make the campfire. So let's put this stuff back anyway. Uh, is that, no, this is all my food. So yeah, just random bits like potatoes, fish and apples and stuff like that. So, and then we want to put our diamonds back here. Whoa, I thought he was going to attack me then. I don't know why. So let's chuck our diamonds in there. Um, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So so now we've got ourselves an axe. We've got ourselves some diamonds. Um, I think it's probably a good idea to uh, show you what else I've been up to as well. Because I've been doing some work at the Enderman farm we done last episode. So let's go over there and I'll show you what I've been up to. Oh, right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've made it to the Enderman farm now, and I haven't done much here, to be fair. Um, we could do some redstone around here as well, but I've basically just made it so that the Enderman won't attack the Endermite we've got there, and I just looked at this guy. Damn it! Run quick, run! Ha ha, you can't get me now, bitch! Ha, you can't get me now! Ha ha! Yeah, die in the end. Die in the void, even. But yeah, <laughs> die in the end in the void. Yeah, how about that one? Anyway, so yeah, um, I basically just made it so that the Enderman won't attack the Endermite in that minecart there. So I've just boarded this up so they can still see it, as you can see, because they're running into this hole here. I've got rid of the half slabs on the bottom as well. Is he angry at me? No, good. I've got rid of the half bottoms here, and I think that stopped them from jumping around a lot. Although this guy's angry at me. So let's try and kill him. Goodbye. You can't attack me. Whoa, three hits and he's dead with an axe. That's good. How much? Nine damage. That's pretty good for an axe. <laughs> that Enderman just literally <laughs> teleported to the end. What the hell? To the void even. What is going on? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the Endermen are dying in here apparently by the looks of things from entity cramming. Uh, I don't know why, but apparently there's quite a lot of them in there. Um, so I've also added this enchantment setup as well. So we've got a full enchantment set up here. Um, because I figure this is probably an easier way than the Guardian Farm to get XP. And it's faster as well. Plus you don't have... You don't necessarily have to worry about you dying, but it can still happen. So does he aggro at me? No. Okay, so... Yeah, so this is the Enderman farm as it stands. I could add some redstone. As you see, I don't really have a collection mechanism for all these end pearls. Um, so that could be sorted out, I guess. Having said that, the amount of Enderman I'm killing, it's probably not a good idea for the ender pearls just to be uh, lying on the floor like that because it could create a lot of lag um, in the future if we're not careful or it depends how many we kill. But... They can still create a lot of lag. So we need to probably do something about that. They were in a 2x3 square. But I had to move them to a 3x1. Uh, because you couldn't really hit the ones in the back with your sword. So this is a better killing mechanism. I've just basically moved this one block further. Uh, the other improvement we could make is if I just get up here quickly. Ah, shoot. Whoa, how come he's angry at me? It's probably because I already hit him, but he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> An axe is really good to use. Jeez, man, I never realised it was this effective. 
I'm going to probably start using a an axe from now on instead of a sword. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm surprised I haven't even died yet, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so if we come up here, I've still got a problem with Enderman teleporting. So we need to do something about that. Um, we need a lot of wool to uh, basically carpet the whole area so they're not teleporting. But if we move further back, say here for example, you can see the amount of Endermen that are actually coming into the farm. And um, yeah, anyway, I was just wondering what them guys were doing because you can't really look at them. So they're just like in the corner chilling out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can see if we're further away, the more Endermen that actually uh, turn up here. And that Enderman just teleported onto a fence post. I didn't even think that was possible. But yeah, so... As you can see, there's a lot more Endermen coming into the farm if we're further away compared to if we're this far away. You can tell that they're going to start slowing down a bit. Like now, for example, it's just one or two compared to over there where it was three or four. So we need to move the killing chamber or the platform uh, a block or two away from it. A block or two. I mean like ten blocks or so away. Just so we're um, sure that we're getting good rates which isn't a problem uh, I was thinking we could move this whole thing or we could just move the spawning platform so I'm gonna route to actually just move the spawning platforms to be fair I think that's a good enough option and it's easier as well so we just need to move that back a bit um, but yeah so I think I might actually have enough resources to do that up here I just check quickly in my uh, shulker boxes all right ladies and gentlemen so i've just checked these shulker boxes next to our spawning platform and we do actually have quite a few resources in here to uh finish off our farm and possibly to decorate it as well so why not do that today and i've got my diamond plate there as well for some random reason i can't even remember why but i'm not going to be using that because that's just going to be a disaster and i don't need all these ender pearls so I think the first thing we could do is try and make this bridge a bit safer or possibly widen it out a bit as well. So it's a three by three, three blocks a wide instead of two. So if we grab a few oak leaves, I've got some oak saplings here. Do I have a dirt block? No. Uh, well, it's not hard to get a dirt block. So yeah, we could actually just make our own trees here and chop them that way because I've got some iron here as well so that's what you just shear them in the end instead really so yeah anyway going off on a tangent there so let's make this path wider uh, so it fits the length of the path we've done ne near our farm and then we can go from there and if you guys probably haven't figured it out by now, I'm basically just winging this episode, unfortunately, because I've lost all my items and I really can't be bothered to uh, get them back at the moment, in all fairness. It's just going to frustrate me a bit more. So that's the reason why we're just taking it chilled and relaxed in this episode, so that nothing bad can go wrong. Plus, sometimes it's also good to uh, just take a chilled approach to minecraft instead of uh, trying to get a project done all at once because i found out that trying to uh get rid of a 256 by 256 block area is not going to happen all in one day plus it's really frustrating if you keep dying in lava also if i'm working on the end it's probably not a good idea to uh have all my good armor on because it's most likely i'm going to end up down there at some point it may not be this episode, but every time I work in the end, I'm always I always end up down there at some point. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we've widened out this bridge going into the end island, uh, leading into the farm. So I've also straightened it out. I got rid of that weird little corner that was there and just made it go straight down. So luckily, it worked out pretty well. So I'm not entirely sure what to do decoration wise for this front area but I think I'm going to leave the back as it is and not actually encase it in anything because I like to keep this as minimalistic as possible although that may not happen 
So the next thing we can do though is try and oh, are you aggro at me? He oh no, he's just trying to get to the uh, end mite by the looks of things. So let's push him off as well. Goodbye. So yeah, as I was saying, we need to actually uh, make the spawning platform further on down. So if we get up here, as you can see, this is how I've trapped them. I've just basically covered the end endermite in leaves and then let's put one back there and then I've made like a little funnel for them so they all end up in that hole at some point so yeah so let's actually switch this farm off for now so the way I'm going to do that is just by adding leaves on there so that non-spawnable blocks why is he aggro at me I didn't even look at him did I get lost get lost get lost get lost go Ah, oh, he killed me. No. How? Oh, anyway. Oh, well. <sighs> anyway, let's uh <laughs> Let's get back to uh the end day. Eh? All right, so I've made it back here now and luckily nothing spawning cuz I had a good idea to uh <laughs> cut it off beforehand so let's try and get our stuff back <laughs> whatever stuff we did have anyway so at least I've made a path up as well so that's a good thing might take damage here nope that's good so hopefully we've got everything yeah my axe is still here at least and my armor or oh, yeah my armor is still here yeah I think I've got everything I did have to make a pickaxe as well <laughs> I think the next thing we need to do is get rid of these um wooden things wooden things <laughs> fences <laughs> and um move this platform probably another 10 blocks or so so the spawning platform will probably be here instead i reckon although i could just try and test it using the stairs i think i'll figure it out right so i've uh changed this around a bit or well, I haven't really changed it I've basically just moved it about five or six blocks this way um, I think it's about five blocks because the spawning platform was about here and now it's there so actually it might have been about here I can't really remember I'm sure there's a mathematic way of figuring it out I just uh, not very good at math so yeah hopefully this will work anyway so I need to actually get myself up there now which is easier said than done so looks like I'm gonna have to break through a couple of these leaves oh luckily he wasn't on me I thought he was aggro at me then endermen are just not liking me for some reason we need to get rid of these as well and then we need to get rid of the ones we use to pillar up like so and then we can check this out and see how more mu that. and then we can see how many more Enderman we actually get in here so doesn't seem like it's as fast as it should be to be fair let's go up here quickly that's what that's probably why to be fair but it doesn't really matter I think we've sorted some of it out oh maybe not hmm let's go here anyway and see because it shouldn't technically matter where we are but it does so yeah maybe I need to move it back a bit further on um, but then we get the problem with the uh, endmen and the range distance between the endmites so I'm not entirely sure what that is might be worth testing to be fair with you if not it's the mob cat but I don't think that's a problem uh, it could be but I don't think so anyway I think we've uh, sorted this out for now there could be other improvements, I might need to move it back a bit more, but I think some testing with the range of an endmite and enderman will probably be a good thing to do in all fairness uh, before I do that, so I know exactly how far to move it away from the endermite. And that enderman just teleported to the void again. See, there's just loads of them coming up now, compared to down there. Um, but then, if I was to move the spawning platform this far back, which is a good, what, 10 blocks? What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 blocks, plus an extra um, 
plus 23, so that's a good stack. Um, 60 odd blocks, go away please. That was so close, I actually thought he was going to kill me. Luckily, he didn't attack me. Let's attack these guys, though. <laughs> you angry? <laughs> Are you an angry Enderman? Well, you're going to be a dead Enderman soon. Dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for your business. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we've uh, pretty much got this sorted out, apart from the spawning platform, to be fair. But <laughs> And they're all dying now. So, obviously I need an actual sword to be using this properly, and I don't have one. So, I think we could uh, leave this as a dumb project for now, apart from the redstone. Which, I don't have any, and it's all at the swamp. So, I think I need to get some more redstone at some point. So, we could do that next episode as well. So, let's hop back to our base, and see what else we can get up to. Alright, so I was coming back to the end portal to get to the overworld and I was thinking probably a good idea to uh, put like fence posts or something around the outside of here so we don't actually fall into the end all the way along going into the farm. So let's do that while we're, at, while we're here and I've just about got enough wood to do it I think. I've used up all my wood in there so that's three stacks of oak logs gone on pretty much six stacks of oak fences and I don't have any wood in there. I've got a random apple and a few tiny bits of redstone but that's about it. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, make this a bit safer and then I, th I reckon next episode we can work on the design of this tunnel or bridge depending on what you want to do with it. I mean technically it's a bridge at the moment but we could make it into a tunnel uh, if we wanted to. I haven't really got any designs so if you guys have any kind of designs or what kind of blocks we could use then put them down in the comments because I'd be interested to find out what you guys think. Um, I was thinking of uh, keeping with the aesthetic of the oak leaves so basically just a load of wood and that like I've got with like I've done at the actual farm but that could change. Um, I could use other blocks if I wanted to. I've got some stone and stuff like that we could use. That kind of goes well with wood and oak, but I'll leave it to you guys to decide. So put it in the comments what you guys think we should do or what kind of blocks we should use and I'll use them. So any interesting comments I will shout out in the next episode. So we've got our border in now and yeah it's basically just a bunch of fence gates but it's going to stop us from accidentally like moving t off to the void at least so it's more of a safety barrier than anything else and it looks pretty cool with these oak leaves as a bridge anyway. I really quite like this as a platform. Uh, we could build on this kind of design but as I say it's up to you guys. Um, so yeah, I've also done the stairs as well and the killing platform so that I don't end up in the end void for some reason. It's probably going to mean that um, getting rid of some of these endmen are going to be a bit more of a problem than just chucking them down the void. But I'm sure we can deal with it and they're already cramming so yeah. Um, so that's probably it I think. This looks a bit weird though. I don't... Oh I do. We could put one there and there yeah that looks all right but then no that's fine but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen I am out of time for this episode so thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads I've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching goodbye